guys welcome back to the channel so in this video i'm going to walk you through how you can add page transitions and preloaders to your elemental websites now what exactly are these and why would you want to add them let me give you some examples i'm on my webmonkey academy website in here let's say i went to the library page right now look closely at the screen you can see you have the circle rolling the wheels rolling that is the preloader for that page let me go back to the home page so you can see it again you see it right there that is the preloader for my website let me give you a second example this is my cybersecurity website if i was to refresh the home page look at the screen again you would see the preloader right now you can see it right there it's from the movie matrix if you've ever seen it before these are what we call preloaders and page transitions now why would you want to add them to your website they are a great way to keep your audience keep whoever is visiting your site on your site we all know the attention spans of people nowadays it's very 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 little most people expect your websites to load within two three seconds if it doesn't load within two three seconds it's either a they leave and never come back or b even if they stayed on your site they will begin to get the impression that ah your site is very 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 slow i don't think i want to buy anything from this site i'm going to go elsewhere however when they see a preloader it's a very interesting way to keep them glued on your screen because now they start looking like oh this is interesting what is this they uh, consciously or subconsciously forget that hold on a second the page hasn't actually loaded yet that's why you want to add preloaders and page transitions to your website even if your website loads very 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 quickly Keep in mind that somebody from Aust maybe your data center is maybe in the United States, somebody from Australia or China or Japan might want to view your site. It might take them a bit longer than somebody who lives in the United States. So just to make sure that whoever visits your site should in case it takes a few seconds for the pages to load, they would at least see a preloader and it will keep them glued on your site. Also, not too many websites use preloaders nowadays. So when they see a preloader on your site, it immediately makes your website stand out. It gives this impression of you know professionalism, design, and efficiency. So how exactly would you add such transitions or preloaders to your site? Let's take a look. So let's start off with the very first website here, WebMonkey Academy. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to your Elemental settings, and then under the Experiments tab, make sure that where you see ongoing experiments, you will see the page transitions right there. Make sure this is set to either default or active. Uh, personally, I'll recommend default because at the moment, it's not yet officially been released as a safe feature of Elementor. It's still kind of like in the testing phase, if you will. So I'll recommend you just keep it on default for the time being, but just make sure that it is not inactive. With that being said, once you've saved your changes, now go to the page or your home page, wherever you want to add your transition, right? You would go to the site settings in your Elementor backend. So I've clicked on site settings in here. Now you will see down here, you'll see page transitions. This is where you can add the page transitions for your website. I'm going to click in there. And right now, first of all, you will have the access to the background color. So you simply choose background color in here, and then you can choose whatever kind of color you want to add for your background. Uh, typically, I would recommend you go with either white or black. It all depends on your website, but black and white are typically the safest options. And then right in here, down here, you have the preloader. You have different types. You have the animation, icon, and image. So you could use an image as an example. You simply choose image and then you add your image. Very, very straightforward. Personally, I go with the animations and then on the animation, you have different types. The one I'm using right here is the nested spinners, but you've got stuff like circle, for example, and you can see the preview right there. You've got circle, you've got pulse, and so on. Just choose whichever one that you want to work with. I'm going to go back to nested spinners. And then you'll have other options in here like the animation speed, the preloader delay, which for me makes no sense. You typically want your preloader to load as quickly as possible. Otherwise, what's the point? So I will recommend you keep that on zero unless, of course, you have a very specific reason for wanting to delay your preloaders. And then you've got other options like the style, color, uh, and so on. And then going back to the page transitions, you will have the entrance animation fade in, zoom in left, slide down, and so on. Just simply choose whichever animation you want and also the exit animation as well. Simply update 
and there you go that's exactly how you can add your uh, animations or your preloaders rather to your website now a question i might have here is okay what about the second preloader i showed you the one which you're seeing right now the one that has the uh, matrix uh, preloader how was i able to add that to my elemental website you cannot do that with the pre-built uh, elemental preloader feature because you can only add animation icon and image you cannot add animations from third parties that is the downside with the elemental pre-built feature so what if you wanted to add animations from let's say lotti files as an example which by the way if you're not familiar with lotti files i love them you can add svgs animations and they're extremely light they don't take up too much space or resources so they're not going to slow your website down so how was i able to add this particular preloader to my cybersecurity website well i made use of an add-on called the plus add-ons for elementor you can see it right here unfortunately they do have a free version and a paid version to make use of the preloader you actually have to buy the paid version of the plugin i've actually covered the same developers uh, but for gutenberg i do i do have the youtube tutorial in here if you're interested interested you can check it out i actually covered how you can add preloaders to your gutenberg website for elemental is exactly the same process let me walk you through how it is done so First, you'll have to go to the website, buy the plugin, which by the way, I'm an affiliate for them, which means I promote them. If you want to support me, support what I'm doing here on the channel and you want to buy their plugin, please do buy the plugin using my link in the description box below. When you buy the plugin and you install it, in your back end, you will see the plus settings down here. Simply go to your plus widgets, okay? And then make sure that this particular uh, widget is activated you're gonna see it right here preloader make sure it is turned on save your options and then go to whichever page you want to add the preloader to right now i'm on my home page you can see right here this is my home page this is the elemental backend let me scroll all the way down here to show you you will see plus essential that is the section where you will have all the widgets under the plus add-ons plugin and you can see i've got the preloader widget right there I added it and this is the widget right there and then when you add it you can now begin to edit how you want the preloader to work you have different options you have Lottie in here you have image you have icon you have text content predefined short code progress you name it simply go with Lottie and then you can now paste the URL of your Lottie file right here to access Lottie you will need to create a free account with them you don't have to buy any of the animations they have plenty of animations that are free Simply create your account, you sign in, and then you can search for whatever kind of uh, animation you're looking for. For example, for WordPress, right? You can simply type in WordPress in here in the search box, uh, WordPress, and you will see different types of lots of files for WordPress. Let it load for just a second. And there you go, you have different types in here. I actually like the very first one in here where you have the WordPress logo just loading. I really like it. You click in there, okay and then right here you'll see the lottie animation url simply grab that url and then go to your elemental website and then simply paste the link right there and there it is you have a few other options like okay the width height speed but generally that's typically all you need to do for the loader the pillar to actually work on your site and that's how i was able to get the matrix uh, animation preloader on my cyber security website and that's pretty much how to add preloaders and paid transitions to your Elementor website. If you have any questions or comments, of course, use the comments uh, box below. I'll do my best to answer them as quickly as I can. If you enjoyed the video, do give it a thumbs up. Share the video with anyone you feel might benefit from it. My name is Alex. If this is, this is the first time you're here on the channel, please do subscribe. Hit the bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new tutorial. And once again, if you would like to buy the Plus Add-ons plugin for Elementor, please do use my link in the box below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers.